That's major. Oh my god. I was not. <gasps> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. And today we have another Fairyloo unboxing. Those of you who have watched these know that these are like my favorite videos to film. I love it. I feel so lucky that I am sent these. So I have been a fairy loop rep for the past three months. This is my third box I've received. So this is my last box because so I was just a rep for them for three months. And I just want to say before we get into it, such a big thank you to fairy loop for sending me these. Fairy loop is amazing. Like... I am constantly astounded by not only the book and like how well the book is packaged and like designed, but also all of the items have so much thought going to them. I use so many of them constantly. They are so useful, the items, but so beautiful as well. So as always, I will leave everything linked below for Fairy Loo. I think it's currently a wait list, but I really recommend you go and join the wait list if it's something you're interested in. I'm just so excited to open this. It's all right. I'm buzzing for it. It's like it arrived last night and I just, the level of restraint I had to have was <laughs> quite a lot. I think the theme this month was Wicked Hearts. Tom, I need you. I need you to come put a post-it note over what the book is on this card so I don't get spoiled. Thank you, Dallin. The theme this month is Wicked Hearts. I don't know what book this is. I can't tell from the art what book this is. I hope you like the post-it notes, by the way, that can't spoil the book for me when I'm looking at the item. Seems like we've got a dapper guy and a demon. Oh, we all like a bad boy though, don't we? Yeah, not a fucking demon. Hello, Chris. There's a bad boy and then there's evil. I don't know. I have no idea what this could be. So let's just get, oh my God, this looks so good. Okay, so first we've got Wicked Hearts playing cards. This is such a cool idea. I can't wait to see the design on them. Oh, okay, so a lot of them are just like spades or hearts. I'll show you close up to them all. But then we have got, for each of the kind of sections, we have some characters for the King, Queen and Joker. They are just designed so well. These are absolutely beautiful. The gorgeous four playing cards include artwork from four amazingly wicked fandoms. You can spot characters from The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller, The Beautiful by Renee Adier, Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, and Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. We think ours 28 has done such an amazing job illustrating the cards and we really hope you love them okay i love these the cards they have a really nice quality feel to them and the edges of them are shiny and really smooth so they're they're really nice to like hold as a pack i haven't read any of those books but the only one that i do have is sorcery of thorns i don't know which category that is i thought she was blonde the girl from sorcery of thorns maybe i'm wrong but none of these gals are blonde but i swear on the cover she's blonde <laughs> Uh, that is not correct. That's a really cool, unique idea, and I love the artwork on them. Next, what is this? Salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> what? I just wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, they're actually really cute. Oh my god, okay. Wait, these are actually cute. Okay, so we have these salt and pepper shakers. One has the design of a snake on it, and then one has this kind of like crescent moon design on it. And they both say, by earth, moon, and stone, bless this hearth. Is that how you say it? Bless this hearth? Hearth? Bitch, you stupid. I'm not good at saying words. Bless this home. And they're like ceramic. So it says, we hope you'll love this gorgeous set of salt and pepper shakers that showcase a stunning design by a no run tail in foil. The quotes are from our featured book of the month, which is anything but bland, so your food shouldn't be either. Okay, so they're from, they're themed on the book of the month. That's interesting. That doesn't get me any closer to knowing what the book is. I still have no idea. <laughs> Next we have our pin, which is themed off of The Young Elites by Marie Lu, which I have heard of, but I haven't read. And it's like a wolf howling to the moon saying, it is my turn to use, my turn to hate. This is designed by Alchemy and Ink. That is really pretty. Again, I don't really use pins. Like I just put them on my bookshelf back home, but I really love the kind of like rose gold design of this and the constellations on the wolf. I think that's really cute. That's like my favorite pin I've gotten so far in any of the boxes. What's next? This is big, whatever this is. Hello? Oh, get out. That's so fun. And bitch. I love that motherfucking song. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. What? That's so fun. This is so fun. Okay, I never could have imagined get anything like this. So this is a puzzle. <laughs> it's a hundred piece puzzle. I don't do puzzles like currently, but sometimes I see people in their vlogs doing puzzles and like I kind of want to. Like I kind of, again, it's that like, oh my God, you're having fun doing that. So why can't I? <laughs> So it displays a portrait of Jax from Caraval, illustrated by Salties. Okay, that's so much fun. That's like such a unique thing to have in a book box. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's really something unusual. I think that's a lot of fun to have in a book box. Wow. I like that. Okay, I'm really, I'm really enjoying the items so far. We've got the tarot cards for this edition, which are 10 of swords and nine of swords. I never know who these people are. Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Designed by Ars28 and inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. Haven't read it. I haven't read any Sarah J Mass, but I do really like the designs of these and I'm gonna put all my tarot cards together when I get back home. I shouldn't laugh, okay. But the next is some stickers um, illustrated by underscore Saint Dream and they're Kylo Ren stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but something about Kylo Ren is just funny to me. <laughs> I mean, they're very nicely illustrated. Maybe I'll give these to my brother. He really likes Star Wars. Okay, I think we have one more thing. Get out, get out, get out. That's so much fun. We got some socks. <laughs> Inspired by the sassy, sassy. Inspired by the sassy Castlevania series and designed by the wonderful Jess Hawk. I will never turn down socks. Plus I like that these, they're like trainer socks so I can wear these when I go running. And that's like the only time I wear socks like these. The rest of the time I'm in like slipper socks. I really like the design on them. I think they're really cute with like the pop of gold. Socks are always a fun addition. I don't know what this book is. Oh my God, okay. It's got black, spread it. What is this? No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh my god! No. Why is in here? I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. <gasps> oh my god. No. That's major. Oh my god. I was not. <gasps> it's Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco. No. Oh my god. <laughs> So I've been so interested in this. It is Kerry Maniscalco's new book, the new series, which uh, she's the author of Stalking Jack the Ripper, which I've read the first in the series and I haven't continued on with it yet, but I definitely want to. Isn't this edition beautiful? Like with all the purple, it's gorgeous. And then look. And <laughs> <laughs> I love the edges with these like flowers and then if we go on the inside so we have this like gorgeous illustration of who I assume is the main character on the front I'm like dead and then look at this I'm always obsessed with these on the inside of the jacket that is so pretty that is so gorgeous Oh my God, I love it. This is so pretty. This is like a major book. Like this is one of the most hyped books I've been seeing lately. I really didn't think it would be a book like this. Like I'm kind of shook, like I'm not gonna lie. So the description of this is two sisters, one murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself. But that's quite dramatic. It's about twin sisters who are witches. One of them has been murdered and the other vows to find her sister's killer and seek vengeance at any cost. Then she meets Wrath, one of the wicked, princes of hell she's been warned against as, since she was a child. He claims to be on her side, tasked by his master with solving a series of murders on the island, of which Victoria, her twin, is the latest victim. But when it comes to wicked, nothing is as it seems. This is so exciting. I really hope that this is one I can get to soon. I'm really shocked that this is what came in the book. Like, there's certain books that are so major 
that you don't expect them to just be like in a book box, like in a normal edition of a book box. You expect them to be like a special edition. Do you know what I mean? Once again, Fairy Lou have just pulled it out of the bag. They do not know how to lose. They just do not know how to lose. Uh, it has been such an amazing experience being a rep for them. I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing videos. And I'm just shocked. I love this exclusive cover. I love the edges. I think it's great that it, they went with this kind of more dark, design not like glittery sprayed edges because it fits the vibe of the book so well i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing again i will leave everything fairly linked in the description i'd really recommend signing up for the waitlist if you can and yeah thank you again for sending me these fairly it's been such a great experience okay thank you for watching this video and i will see you very very soon bye